Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Today I'm going to be cutting my own hair. Um, I'm terrified, but I've watched like two Brad Mondo videos so I can do it, right? Um, yeah, so my hair is very damaged. Um, I've done a lot with it lately as you guys have probably seen on my channel I just I want to cut off a little bit of length to give it some health And I also want to do like layers and curtain bangs So I'm going to be trying the butterfly haircut and I'm also gonna be trying Brad Mondo's technique for curtain bangs Wish me luck <laughs> Okay, so this is where we're at. I think I have it done pretty well. I will say that brushing my wet damaged hair up into a high pony was maybe the worst thing ever. Um, my hair doesn't do a high pony on like a good day, okay? The front part went great because it's so like thin, but the back part is a lot thicker. About this, about that much off? I don't know. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Okay, here it goes. Here goes nothing. Okay, hang on. I wanna like remember how much length I'm taking off. Like, oh. not a whole comb's worth, but maybe like three fourths of a comb's worth. I don't know. Okay, okay. We did it, girls. And then just chopping it up a little bit. I feel like my hair is pretty long. I feel like I could use to take off like a little bit more length, but I don't want to cut it too short. I'm so scared. Kind of hard to see once you got the front part done. Let me just. Okay. Oh my god! I can't believe I'm doing this. Also, the front part is like dried a little bit. I hope that doesn't affect anything. My hair was a little rat's nest, but I'm so excited already. I don't know, I feel like I can see a difference. Maybe I can, maybe I'm crazy. But I feel like these parts are shorter. They're shorter, oh my God. Since there wasn't a lot in that front section, um, I don't think it's super drastic, but there's definitely some layering here in the front. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't hate it so far, but now I'm gonna try to cut curtain bangs which I'm really scared about. So I have my hair sectioned for the curtain bangs, the Brad Mondo curtain bang. So he says to comb your hair over to the other side. My hair part is kind of weird, but okay. Comb it over to the other side and then attach an elastic like at your mouth, at the corner of your mouth. This is definitely gonna be a lot shorter than the bangs that I have now. Um, but that's kind of what I was wanting, actually. And then I'm actually gonna cut like slightly below my mouth. Cut it parallel to the part. Okay. Um, I'm hoping I can style that to look good. This may be the part of the haircut that I regret. We'll see. I'm hoping that I can style this to like look good. Um, actually, <laughs> that's kind of cute. Okay, other side, which I've got all these hairs that aren't gonna be able to go in here because this side of my hair is a lot thinner than the other side of my hair. And like, I can't just like add more, you know? It may bother me that my hair can't like go behind my ear. That may bother me, but it'll be okay, right? Hey, can you guys see how much thinner this side of my hair is? I'm hoping, I'm gonna do my makeup after this and I'm hoping to just like be happy with the results once they're done below my mouth, just like I did on the other side. That's a lot of hair, I've cut off a lot of hair. The last thing is like face framing layers and there is some hair here that's like a little bit longer that I would really like to cut because I want it to kind of fall nicely. But like I watched what he did and like it doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm just gonna... Okay, some hair came off. Okay, okay, cool. It's like just basically this hair right here because this is what used to be part of my bangs and has grown out. How much does it gel on the other side? Okay, but like, what? Also, I changed my shirt because it got like super hot in the bathroom, but like, oh my God. 
I feel like so freaking pretty right now. I still have to figure out like kind of how to style it. I don't have a blow dryer or a like barrel brush, but I'm gonna get those things eventually so I can like actually style this right. And I may try it again and cut it just a little bit shorter, but I just styled this with a flat iron. So I was kind of like in a hurry filming this because I have things to do today. Um, but I did want to say I measured how much hair that I cut off and I cut off about four inches. So I did cut off about how much he said and I do see a difference. Like obviously all of this is layered because I just curled my hair the same way the other day and it was all the curls were down here. There weren't any up here. I just need to like put more in the front section maybe because like my hair's really thin in the front. My hair's really thin, period. But um, my hair's really thin in the front. So maybe I just need to like go back a little bit further, like get more hair. I don't know. Also, my split dye is totally coming through. But the cut is literally everything. Okay, so it's a few days later and I styled my hair again with a straightener and this time it worked a lot better. I personally feel like I just did a better job, like I'm getting more used to it and I also got this part to lay how I wanted it to in the previous clip. Um, so yeah, so a couple days later I'm loving it even more and definitely styling it a little bit better and kind of figuring out how to make this hair look work for me and so far I think it's working pretty good. I quite literally almost forgot to film an outro because I got so obsessed with my hair so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my next hair journey. Um, thanks Brad Mondo. I know it's not like the best job but I think it's pretty cute. So I post new videos every single week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!